Hi everyone, this is Brenda from MathWorks. In this video, we'll walk you through an example using fixed point designer library blocks. This particular example shows how to implement a fixed point HDR optimized MVDR beamformer. The beamformer preserves the gain of a desirable signal from the direction of arrival and attenuate interference from other directions. The data matrix A captures the reading from a sensor array. Because there are always many more samples are taken than there are elements in the array, this results in the number of rows in A be much greater than the number of columns. We want to use the estimate of covariant matrix A transpose A to calculate the response. We use this particular example where B is the steering vector pointing in the direction of the desired signal. Instead of computing the inverse of the matrix, we use the upper triangular matrix R from the QR decomposition that is identical to the Cholosky factorization of A transpose A. Let's take a closer look at them in the model. Because the matrix A with the data that's updating indefinitely, a forgetting factor is applied after each factorization. We integrate such a design in a block look like this. Now we can run the simulation where you can see the desired pulse appeared when the noise source unknown. Because this example simulates with the same latency as the hardware, you can see the signal settle over time as the simulation starts. You can also later change the parameters from the sliders in this example. When the signal direction and steering angle are aligned as indicated by the blue and the green line, you can see that the beam pattern has a gain of 0 dB, and the noise sources are nulled as indicated by the red line. You can also use this block in the example to find the other blocks just look like this through the library links. You can also directly open Simulink library browser to find some other blocks that handles the matrix solve and the linear algebra operation. In summary, this fixed point library design elements can help you understand the implementation latency and the different design options. Thank you.